It was this one. And it, yeah, and it included this CD. And the CD was a Linux distro. And while I was trying to install that, I was trying to dual boot Windows with Linux. And then I broke the Windows partition. So I could only use Linux. And then I got really good at it because I broke the Windows partition. So that's one way to get good at it. So here, I don't want to, I'm only going to want to set the default if, um, if it wasn't sent in the config dictionary. So I think I can use dot get. Oh, I, I took up my scratch bad thing. Um, hold on, actually. Ampersand. Great. So if I... Python equals this. Oh, that didn't work. Comma. It's a pretty nerdy thing, yeah. If I do, I can do D of A, that's fine. If I do D dot get. I wasn't trying to do that. I think here you can set a default. I don't know if this is deprecated or something yet. Can I get the Python docs, please? Ten airy. This is an. <laughs> I'm just going to do it. I don't know why I thought this was definitely... What if I get a help? This seems fine. Okay, I'm going to do it. So I'm going to do that. Get a diffuse. The, the default will be... Um... Wait, tuple config that get a diffuse, otherwise one one one. That is a lot of close parentheses. I'm just gonna make sure that works. Okay, nothing crashed. And I think if I did something like this, wait, now I'm just going to leave this. I'm just going to leave that how it is. Default 111. Emissive default 000. Zero, 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 like this. Okay. Roughness, metalness, and opacity. One, zero, one. All right. Okay, and these are just floats. So it should be like this. And then one zero one. Okay, so we got diffuse emissive specular. Wait, 
roughness. Metalness and opacity. Diffuse, emissive, roughness, metalness, opacity. Roughness. Metalness and opacity. Diffuse, emissive, roughness, metalness, opacity. So yeah, this, this, roughness, metalness, opacity. Ambient light color. This will be said by the scene. Actually, all of these light related things will be said by the scene. I wonder why it has a hemisphere light. Oh, it has that here. But why is that undefined? It's kind of weird. This hemisphere lights at zero dot sky color and dot ground color and dot direction. I'm not sure why that'd be empty though. Oh, would it? No, I don't know. Oh, maybe it's because there's. Maybe it's because the color is white. It could be that some property, some property of the material is such that the hemisphere lights don't matter. So even if I change the diffuse, could it be something with the emissive? FFF001. Added the hemisphere light. I'll try adding some emissive. Add it again. Mm, same thing. I wonder if hemisphere lights work with standard material. They have to. It's not telling me anything about them. Well, okay. Okay, I'm gonna see if... Okay, hold on. I'm gonna see if I can get any output from the hemisphere lights with the Fong material. So I'm gonna go here, long material. This actually might break out right because in the fog material I'm not setting defaults. Maybe I should set these defaults in a more like all in one place. Do you ever figure out why Meta with OpenGL doesn't quite work properly with Intel integrated graphics? I have no idea. Didn't we didn't we bring up that problem with Einarf? And I don't remember what he said. I think he said that it should be possible and we are doing something wrong. Something about a frame buffer. Okay, but um, but now I don't know where that happens.
So I call this defaults. Diffuse. Maybe that's a little bit easier to read. Okay. So it looks like it looks like that material is working. Um I think I broke fong materials or something. Let me see. No, I guess that's still working. Let me try instantiating one like this. Okay, so that does have a problem. And the reason for that is that I don't have these defaults. Okay, so I'm just gonna copy the same defaults. So white, black, I don't know for specular and shininess. Oh, is it it's showing them me them here? So I'm gonna go to the fong material and I'm not gonna set any of these. I was not trying to do that. Okay. And that'll crash. And here. I give all the defaults, so white, black, two-thirds, two-thirds, two... Th oh, this isn't two-thirds. It's like two-thirds divided... two divided by 30. Gonna let Wolfram Alpha figure out what that is. Thanks. One divided by fifteen, so I was right. Okay, that's a weird default. I'll just do that, I guess. So specular. One divided by fifteen. One divided by fifteen. One divided by fifteen. Then shininess 30. So yeah, shininess 30, opacity is obviously 1. Great. The hemisphere lights are still undefined, which is odd to me. But I'll get to that later, I guess. Get and then here and all here, here, here. I'll do this, man. Can I just yank this? Yeah, let me do that. Specular shininess. Great. Diffuse emissive specular shininess and opacity. Nice. Now I should be able to just instantiate out a fog material. Great. So 
I'm not interested in fog materials right now. I can instantiate a standard material. And that actually just worked, I guess. So I guess try putting the standard material on one of these. Probably this one. Actually, let me just um I'll put standard material. And then I'll set the parameters on my own. So And then I'll set the parameters on my own. So, diffuse, emissive, roughness, metalness, opacity. Diffuse is mostly green. Emissive, I'll leave at zero, I guess. No specular. But there is roughness. Okay, so I'll take out specular, take out shininess. Look for the roughness at. One, I guess. And metalness at zero. Okay. And maybe I can just view this material. There's no attribute standard material material. Okay, that looks pretty similar to the to the fog material, I gotta say. But I can tell the light isn't as it is less shiny. But great, that seems to have worked. Ebergram, what's going on? Okay, that was less difficult than I thought it would be to bring the standard material over. So what I think I have to do now is probably play with lighting some more. I take out this light. Now the other sides aren't being illuminated at all. Well, maybe a little. But not too much. There's this 444. If it's at 444, it makes sense that yeah, that, that kind of makes sense, that you'd be able to see these parts a little bit. Oh no, it's at negative 255. So, negative 2, 5, then 5 out of the screen. What's with the trippy circle? Also nice contrast. Thanks! Um, I just did this for the heck of it. <laughs> Someone like asked me something I could do with a because I switched my window manager. And there's not a ton of difference, but this is one of the things I can do. Okay, I think I'm gonna need I think I'm gonna want a bunch of materials or something, or a bunch of geometries. And then give the ability to switch like two geometries and then menus to compare the two of them. Looks cool, thanks. I try. Also, I don't know if basic materials work. I haven't used one of those in a while. 
Actually, I'm pretty sure this will... Pretty sure that'll crash something, actually. What has diffuse and opacity? Diffuse, I'll default to white, opacity to one. Sweet config.get. Diffuse. Um, otherwise, the defaults. Not to pass that to tuple. How did my cursor get way over there? Code looks neater somehow, which doesn't make sense. Um, great. I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> Whatever. If it just happens to you to look neater, how which doesn't make sense. Um, great. I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> Whatever. If it just happens to you to look neater for some reason. Great. Okay, this is going to be not a tuple. How would I get at opacity? Or the defaults at opacity. Oh yeah, and only, only that. Dope. So now, if I attempt to... Oh no. Tree sitter's having a day. Okay, if I attempt to pass this a basic material, maybe... Oh, it didn't crash. That's great. What's jet black, which I didn't think was going to happen. I wonder if something was, like, buggy with that. I thought... I thought the basic material didn't require any lights. So are these numbers just not high enough? Hmm... Let me print out the members of the basic material. So I'll compile it here, then I'll print self shader program um, underscore members. Okay, now it's working. Wait, but it didn't print out the members. Oh, because they didn't put print here. Okay. So it's only... This is an attribute. Then the model view matrix, projection matrix. And yeah, it's only diffuse at opacity. So that was, that was correct. Okay, great. And it's doing what I expected to do with a basic material. Um, so that's great. That wasn't so bad. Um, yeah, I ported over basic materials, or fixed basic materials. Wait, does this work if it's 0 0.3? Okay, it does actually look kind of gray, which is what I'd expect. But if I up this, I can get a little more green or whatever. And this operates even if there are no lights. I can comment out all the lights. And this will still have its color. And this doesn't because of no light. Okay. Let me see how the diffuse looks on the standard material. Yeah, the standard material definitely looks more 
non janky. Even without the ambient light, it looks pretty good. Have you ever looked at a type checker like I type? I have not. Check that in just a second. Even if it's just white isn't so bad. Maybe what I want... Normally when you do lighting, there's like a front light and a side light or something like this. Okay, anyway. Static type analyzer. There's types for your Python code without requiring without requiring type annotations. Static type analyzer. There's types for your Python code without requiring without requiring type annotations. I feel like this would just lose its mind on Manum. Because Manum would have so many violations. Uses infer instead of gradual typing, which this makes sense. Wait. I don't know what gradual typing means. Infer types on code, even when the code has no type ends on it, so I can detect it's just code like this. Which other type checkers would miss. Script kitty, what's going on? Light mode GitHub. <laughs> I I used to have like literally everything dark mode and just my color schemes made me so depressed <laughs> that I was like dang I need brighter color scheme because like okay this is my background now it's like kind of bright when I first like played with this program I had this background. Which, like, it's kind of nice looking, kind of cozy. But I don't know, it's just so dark. Why is it so dark? <laughs> there's, I like, there's a balance. And the balance is neon. It's, like, kind of dark but there are splotches of brightness. Okay, what was I doing? It's like a box geometry here. Okay, what I think I want is for you to have two geometries side by side, or two meshes side by side, and be able to just mess around with the settings for those two. Don't have the right plugin. Yeah, I use. I have Dark Reader. So that should let me use Dark Mode for almost anything. But not anything. Because there are some pages that just don't work with it for some reason. Okay. Um. Three Fong server test. I'm gonna have to copy a lot of the logic from this. Yeah, this is like sort of annoying. This is an example. Okay. This is an example of an instance where you where you would really just rather add updaters to the scene because why why would you add an updater to this mesh if this mesh is continually being replaced it doesn't make sense you want to just it's like i have to keep every time i create another one 
I have to throw out the old one and then like add the new updater to it. But I don't think there's a better way to do it right now. $100 million in revenue each year, but can't get someone to make native dark mode. Do they? That's a lot of revenue. And they ask for donations a lot. Jimmy Wales needs to buy a Tesla. What can I tell you? No. Oh, he's not on the payroll. Things are getting controversial in here. This will be a lot of logic, but I think... I think I have to copy it, unfortunately. Your Wikipedia editor, that's pretty cool. <laughs> oh man, this I'm not looking forward to implementing this. It's going to be 